guys, Asher coming out today. Marie Channel Legends is going to be a fun and a quick video. Send us some love, some positive vibes your way today, especially if you need it out there. And who doesn't need a little bit of positive vibes out there? Am I right? Uh, guys, uh, I actually think the Ray Shadow Legends Reddit community is pretty awesome, honestly. I'm not usually a Reddit power user at all, but I do check the Reddits of the games that I cover because, well, I consider it part of the job to know what the community is saying. And you see some good content, like, for example, this one in the background. Uh, can you see her whispers on your very, very far left? This is your reminder that Whisper is the best epic in the game. Look at her go. Extra turn. Boom. Extra turn. Boom. Extra turn. <laughs> boom. Boom. You guys get the point, right? So I thought I get a kick out of some of the video that is shared inside uh, the Reddit from the community. Uh, how much can I sell this account for? I wasn't actually trying to show this one. I was trying to show this one. <laughs> how much can I sell this account? You didn't see that, player. We didn't see that. Raid, more than meets the eye. I actually found this one really, really cool, guys. It's good to hear. Honestly, in the chorus of complaints, and I've been a part of that, that choir from time to time, it's good to see people with comments like this. The more I played a uh, raid the more complex it gets i didn't think i would enjoy the game this much i'm level 51 at the moment i'm trying to swap my head around or wrap my head around gear so i can do more in doom tower and dungeons uh honestly it's not that big of a deal but it's someone actually a new player who really enjoys the game unexpectedly it was refreshing to hear about honestly but this is the thread that really got my juices flowing and also the thread that today's video is going to be based on uh going to be a quick one but it's who is your favorite unpopular popular champion. I want to throw that to you guys. I want to ask you guys and I want to change it a little bit. Uh, by the way, massive shout out to uh, comfortable cash 599, a very apropos name for raid shadow legends. Uh, so comfortable cash says, who's your favorite unpopular? I'm just going to say like, who's your, your personal most underrated or just champion that you love that might not be other people in the game. Don't recognize as an S tier champion, you know, might be underrated, but kind of just like, uh, like Royal Huntsman. His is Royal Huntsman. Didn't even build mine that well and he still one shots any non stone skin udk in the arena so basically no one I, i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking so real huntsman is, is is i agree real huntsman's fun he's really fun with that dead aim that dead shot dead aim what the heck is it called the a3 oh man that's a that's a that's a power shot right there uh we have uh sweaty arachnid says skull lord Var vargal carry me to faction wars 21 some of the best uh sub stats in the game right in today's video by the way man mr beast teaches content creators that you're supposed to give and uh, give the viewer everything they ought to know in the first 10 seconds of the video and here i am three minutes in oops 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 uh damn it this is why i'll never be raid creator of the year <laughs> So, uh, I'm gonna give you my fate my answers to this question for rares epic and legendary So, uh, you know stay tuned. All right, so skull uh, 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 Skull word Vargal. That's a, that's a good one. I like I like uh, I want to skip I want to skip this one I want to skip this one Gorgrab. He will be my favorite uh, Champion since he was the only one that practically carried me and still does because uh, I don't have a good healer all through the game I was never a Gorgorab guy because I didn't I didn't ride him hard in the early game back three four years ago Like I'm sure a lot of you guys did I was more of an apothecary and actually I use Seeker a lot. Not that he's a reviver, but I use like Seeker until I got Arbiter and blah, blah, blah. But I, I, I Gorgorab is not bad. I just, I've just never been like one of the guys who's relied on him a ton. Supreme Elhane gets my vote. She's not the best nuker and not the best gear, but I give her, uh, but I use her with two others, Garrel and Xavier. Well, that'll do it on DT normal waves and she breezes through it. Useful in Curse City, certain situations. I like Supreme Elhane too. I actually started using her, uh, when I got, uh, Avaria, the Blade of Avaria, uh, uh, she, if I know, whatever, she, the faction lord, she can really unlock some, some crazy things with uh, Supreme LA. And so you guys can check that out too. We got Snick Track, one of my favorite champs in the game, even over Siffy. That's really cool. Snick Track, I don't have. Uh, I've been I'm wanting him since he came out. Dirindil. Oh, what a nuker, man. Dirindil is an insane epic nuker. I always say it all the time, but for new viewers, you guys in the back, Dirindil, Flyja, whatever you say her freaking name, the dwarf, and uh, and Nagorio. Those three are my favorite like stealth, hardcore epic nukers. There's a, there's actually a lot more too, but those are my perf personal faves. You know, another dude who hits kind of hard for an epic is uh, Pan. He's kind of a new Sylvan Watcher champion. Basilius Ronus. Oh, I don't like him. I don't like Vasilius Ronis personally. They did give him a buff. He has the AoE stun. He has triple puncture with the three hits, so he's not bad. I did knocked more than I should. So my hard dragon team in my uh, poison combustion uh, com explosion team in tag team. Favorite underrated Lego? I just did a guide. Selfless, uh, shameless self promotion. Excuse me. I did a guide on knocked uh, last week on my Raid Shadow Legends Champion Guides YouTube channel. He's a good champion. He's a good champion. Uh, Astralon, I love the dude, and he smacks. Okay, how do you build 
him. Uh, I have him, but I haven't seen... He's been met on my account. Well, I can answer for him. Savage or lethal. <laughs> uh, let's see. Astrolift. I agree with Astrolift for sure. Varl the Destroyer. I need to do some Varl testing on Hydra. I heard he smacks. I like Killian. He's fun than most people claim. I agree. Two-turn stunner. A lot of control on Killian the Lucky, right? Fenax quite a lot in the arena. Absolutely. I agree. He's a good UDK counter too. Sun Wukong. I agree with that 100%. Ulfrig until I got Doom Priest. I like Ulfrig too. Uh, Rorik. I don't like Rorik. <laughs> Morag. I like Morag a lot. Uh, Skaramis is insane. Nethril. I feel like he's been crept a bit. That 94 base speed bothers me on Nethril. And I, I, and it also bothers me that his both of his AoEs are in four turn cooldowns when booked. I would love to see. I think he's a really solid champion. Don't get me wrong. No shade against Nethril. Very good control and poison too on the A1 triple hitter. But for me, uh, Nethril, I would love to see him get a buff. Even if the speed, you know? Because uh, he used to be the man. He's still he's still solid. But anyway, uh, Gerda Bog Brew, 100%. Gerda, man. I had YST on the channel talking about Gerda. Uh, Gerda Bog Brew is replaced on a lot of accounts. She's replacing Bad Alcazar. That was the case with YST. I think that's what we called the video. Is like he replaced Bad Alcazar with this free legend login legendary, whatever it was, you know? Uh, in Gerda Bog Brew, man. Her A2 makes no sense, but her A3 makes up for it. Let me just say that. Uh, Scrapper, uh, Skinner, okay, Galek, Kutraxa, uh, Morrigan, Morrigan is a, is a really good one there too. All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. Champ, Champ, Lord Champ for Razzlevarg. Okay, okay. Let me just go to mine. Let me go to mine. I've wasted enough time. <laughs> Not really. I actually really enjoy reading what other people say and giving my quick take on them. Hopefully, you guys like kind of enjoy the premise of this video. If not, then eh, sorry. Uh, okay, here we go. My most underrated rare in the game is a rare that you guys probably all know in, in respect, but I think he's, you know, let, let me put it this way. If I go to any rare tier list and I look at the top five rares, none of them have Relic Tender, who I think is just, it, I think she's like a top three, top five rare in the game, right? Obviously, but she's not my choice. I'm just trying to sneak in other, other candidates. Uh, my, my dude is just very simple. I think that Tree shield is head and shoulders just absolutely insane for a rare you know and he's from the newest faction so we can help people a lot more in faction wars but tree shield not dude he's defense like he's he's tanky enough you know to keep alive he's got speed for faction crypts which is great he's got a triple hitter on his a1 with a decreased attack so automatically viable in fire knight uh an aoe heal on a three turn cooldown the weak version of increased defense on all allies on a three turn cooldown sure it's the weak version but if you have no version it's hell of a lot better than nothing right can get more damage out of your defense based nukers as well a lot of survivability there with the heal on the same ability, right? I mean, this is better than freaking epics, guys. Uh, and then he has, he's the only rare in the entire game that can revive more than one ally on, on, on an ability or can do it straight out. That's it. Just tree shield not. Revives two allies. 25% HP, 25% turn meter with a shield equal 20% of their max HP. Uh, I just, yeah, I mean, what else do you want me to say? I think tree shield not is my choice for the most. The rare who I just absolutely love and I have no idea. Go look at any tier list out there in the entire world no one will have tree shield top five or even top 10 come on man why not he's the best rare reviver in the game anyway uh I'll, I'll give one more shout out just for the heck of it uh bellower I, I everybody in the world knows bellower he's like the most shock pick like oh way way to go on a limb ash uh and, and people will say he's top five but i still think he's underrated because you look at the weak version people are turned off by the weak version of the debuffs but they have this many debuffs and this much versatility in one champion there's just nothing like it for rares certainly in the game there's nothing like it even for epics in the game you know in terms of everywhere you can use him all the ways you can build him stun set campaign farmer control uh damage blah 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 blah. all right my epic so listen dude i've talked so much about it was really like my claim to fame i would say in terms of two epics that was super early on that everybody's like oh really i kind of think she sucks is morag right i remember having hades on a collab maybe and some of you might remember this but i remember i picked her as one of my most underrated rare epics and he's like morag actually he was like Oh, you, she's rubbish. She's rubbish, Ash. What are you absolutely mental? That's my best British accent. Hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, and I was like, no way. And then he DM'd me a few days later. It was part of one of his uh, free to play things or whatever. And Morag had destroyed it on his clan boss team. And he was like, you were right about Morag. And I think he made a video about it afterwards too. Uh, but she's not my choice. The other one who still people don't recognize. It's criminal, man. You guys, my smart, intelligent, high IQ viewers, 
you guys already know where I'm going here because you get it and you respect it. And I have not seen one comment, and I, I mean it. I have not seen one comment on any video that has maxed out Tagore based on my recommendation and said, nah, he was overhyped. Everybody says you're right, he's a beast, everybody. Tagore is a top epic in this game. There's no doubt about it. I'm not saying he's the best because like everybody's different, right? To compare a Tagore or Reviver to a Seer is, is stupid, right? But he's top. He's top of the class, man. This dude is so good. Start with the HP in all battles. Solid aura. All battle aura, great. Use him in Cursed City. Use him anywhere. Aid the Feeble. He's got one of the best damage mitigating passives out of any epic in the game, okay? Decrease damage received by 10% uh, if they have 50% or less, right? Aid the feeble it's doing exactly that i like this dude his a1 is really underrated and solid it's the magic stick it's a, a two-time hitter with an increased defense big version for two turns on the ally with the lowest current hp it's just whoever needs it most gets the big version of increased defense for two turns off of an a1 ability it's really solid right really solid on the h2 uh, a2 charge can attacks all enemies places the big version of increased speed in a three-turn cooldown on on all allies so we have an aoe attack which his if you'll notice guys for a reviver we haven't got to his revivability yet his base attack is almost 1200 it's 1100 for a support champion if you can you know how it is right if you can build it's hard to get everything out of every champion but if you can build him for a little bit of damage to sneak in some crit rate he can deal a staggering amount of damage too like adding to everything else okay so an aoe attack an increased speed on all allies then a heal it's only 15 percent but it's 15 percent of his max hp right this is all on a three turn cooldown perfect on the a3 ability rise and fight revives all dead allies with 30 percent hp also places a shield on all allies for two turns equal to 20 percent of this champion's max hp 20 percent sounds like a small number and it, and it is but 20 percent of obviously this champion's max hp could be 60 percent of your squishier champion's max hp right so they're getting a nice shield which is good because they only have 30 percent HP after the revival, which is the only kind of downside to him. But it's a five turn cooldown. It's an AoE revive. He's got the damage mitigation. He's got the HP in all battles. He's got the increased speed. He's got the damage. He's got the great heal. He's got the increased defense on the A1. This dude is, he's got it all. Healing, revive, damage mitigation, and buffs. Tagore. There you go. Tagore for president. Rah! All right, my legendary. I don't know how many people are going to know where I'm going with this one. I'll give a quick honorable mention. Uh, Valkanin. Valkanin is my honorable. I just love this dude. I mean, he is something else. Also, <laughs> look at this ability. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I can't even get into his kit. It's too long to read all this crap. Uh, but I will say that I love Valkanen. I really do. I have a thing for nukers when it comes to legendaries, apparently, because uh, my choice, it might not shock all of you guys. I talked about him quite a bit in the past, but it's actually Nogdar the Headhunter. <laughs> this is my guy, man. This is my guy. Here's the thing about Nogdar. His buff was, it, it, it went wildly underreported, I feel like, right? And they changed, they just changed it to make him insanely good now, you know? Now, he's insanely good, but he's still very niche for the arena or for wave content. Content. That's the downside, and there's no arguing that, right? However, he's just one of the most fun champions in the entire game. Something about how fun he is and how effective he is. As a matter of fact, I just want to kind of end the video just by by using him. I think I'm in plat right now. It's been like three hours, so I might have fallen off. Uh, 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 no, I'm still here. Okay, just go into a random team. Let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, I was just messing around with him. So I think I have a team already made with Nogdar. But basically, this dude, what a lot of people don't realize about him is a few things. Wait, I thought... Oh, right here. Okay. Here's the thing about Nogdar, right? First of all, they, they changed the passive and they made it just astronomically better than it was, right? Revise the champion with 50% HP and a full turn meter. It used to be 50% turn meter. That is, that changes everything. It changes everything. Basically, he revi it revives his champion with 50% HP and a full turn meter when he's dead, as long as everybody else is alive, right? So if you can protect the rest of your team, he just keeps coming back to life. He's like Sun Wukong, but it happens instantly. You don't have to wait three turns, okay? And the full turn meter is the full turn meter. He goes right away, okay? So here's his A3 last rights, okay? So here's what you need to know about this ability. It can't kill him. Okay, so he'll be brought down to one HP on this ability. He's he's sacrificing 50% of his max HP, okay? And then he's equalizing his HP with the target enemy. 
and then he's getting an extra turn. This cannot be resisted. So we could be going against, uh, I'm just trying to pick up like the most annoying tanky UDK. UDK in with a thousand resist and that, that 10,000 defense, okay? The world's strongest uh, UDK. We go against him. He's in two, two turn stone skin, right? We go against him and we basically sacrifice our HP. We leave a little sliver on UDK and then we get the extra turn, right? Now in stone skin doesn't really work, I guess the example, because we come in with gore feast which is a super strong AoE attack, right? And then, just for the heck of it, he's bringing a continuous heal on all allies too, you know? Now, he's sacrificing HP here as well, and if it kills him, that's fine, because he just comes right back to life with a full turn meter, you know? On his A1, it smacks, and if you kill somebody with an A1, you get an extra turn. There's just something really beautiful about the synergy in his kit, and God, I hope we go first against this team so I can show it to you guys. <laughs> Just a speed race here. I'm confident, though. I think we'll go first. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so we go in, do our thing, whatever. Uh, I didn't even notice if it if it landed on everybody, but let's just come in. It doesn't matter. Let's just stun everybody. By the way, this team is so disgusting, I just want to say. Lady Makage with Armands, who Armands is a problem, man. I mean, I've said it a lot here, but he's worse. I think he's worse than UDK ever was, personally. Uh, anyway, I digress. Uh, so, Armands and Makan get together, though. Oh, man, it's it's, it's pretty nuts. Anyway, uh, all right, let's go in here. It's Nogdar time. All right, so check it out. I mean, it's probably not the best example because no one's super tanky here on their team, right? But I'll just go against, I'll, I'll go against Arbiter because she's a reviver who I'd normally want to be targeting first. So I go in the A3. Again, she can't resist this. So she's just going to take an HP hit. We take the extra turn. And Gore, Feast, or Fest, or whatever the heck, it smacks, right? It smacks. So, let's... It didn't smack as hard as I wanted it to, though. I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's let's come back in here, and let's do it all over again to kill these guys. Hopefully. Got to deal with Crixia over here. Uh, oh, 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 he's dead. Oh, he's back with a full turn meter. <laughs> so, we're actually rooting for him to die, you know? We're rooting for him to die. Uh, let's go and sacrifice HP, switch it with Armands, and go in and nuke everybody, right? Oh, he died. Oh, he's back with a full turn meter again. This is the magic of Nogdar the Headhunter, man. It, it may be on the only one, but there's just something so satisfying about this dude in terms of... It, this, I don't know. There's just something about his kit that I absolutely love. Clearly, right? We'll do one more before I let you guys go. Okay, so they go first, obviously. That's not going to be a shock here. Uh, we're. I think we're still in this, though. I mean, it's going to depend, right? Let Makage go. Go, go, go. Okay. So we have Lady Makage. That's cool. Let's metamorph and let's... Uh, let's try to land a couple stuns here. Or at least one stun on Arbiter. Okay. And then this is fine. So here I can go in and I can steal a little bit of turn meter. Then I can sheep uh, uh, Nutcracker. Okay. Everything's pretty cool so far, right? You can come in here, place block debuffs. We're good to go. Now, I'd really like to take out Arbiter here. But with the ally protection on the Necret... I don't know if I'm going to be able to, honestly. But I still think it's our best shot to try. So we'll kill half of her health. Problem is, is with the ally protecting that big shield, I'm not going to be able to kill her. But he dies right away. <laughs> right? So he's already back, you know? Uh, I'm going to come in here and just sleep on Yumeko. Wait till there's more buffs on the enemy team to do anything crazy. All right, all right, all right. Gotta be careful. I will say, not the best team for Nogdar highlight. I, I should have said this out the gate here. Uh, reason being is because we really we don't have a reviver on the team, right? And if he dies two times without taking a turn, it's on a one-turn cooldown, he's going to be no good to us. But now you're going to see the magic of the A1, hopefully. Ally Protect is going to be an issue, but hopefully we can kill Yumeko despite that. We can't. Darn it. Darn it. Okay. Necrite, you're annoying, man. You really are. All right. Let's do this. Uh, 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 yeah, let's remove some of that. Ally attack. Attack, attack Nogdar, man. Okay, so now he's not going to revive, so now we're in the danger zone. But I still have faith here. All right, going to come down. So ideally, we want to put Nogdar with a bunch of tanky units, right? Obviously. Uh, so that he's the only one dying. And if you want to get crazy, you can put him with some tanky units, uh, with like a Hefrak, right? 
So he's activating, and it, it just can it can get insane. Let's go ahead and go Makage and get rid of get rid of Arbiter. Time for you to die, Arbiter. Boom. Okay. And then we can come in. And Yumeko seems like she's close to her to her uh what you let's let's kill and get the extra turn. Boom. Extra turn. Yeah, we're one turn away. But you're seeing, you know, this is the pile. This is the fun of Nogdar the Headhunter. Am I right on this dude, guys? What do you say? What do you say? This guy's a beast. I really think he's such a cool champion, clearly, right? Let's let him get the final kill on Nectar at the Great, and then I can't wait to read your comments on this one. What do you think of my choices? Are you surprised by any of my choices, or did you did you pretty much expect what I was gonna say? Especially the, uh, you know, <laughs> the, uh, the regular viewers out there. Guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, take care, guys.